Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share a folio I made following Paul Ford's tutorial for the Arthur folio. You will find the link to his video in the description below. So this is a wonderful little folio. It's one of my favorite projects in a, in a while. And I will show it to you and then I will talk a bit about uh, why it's so special. So we have four elements. Um, the folio is uh, six and three eighths by eight and uh, three quarters. And we have four elements. All of them uh, fit four by six photos. So, and um, for this, I followed Paul's tutorial exactly as he, uh, as he made it. So here we have a pocket and it has an eighth of an inch gusset. So there's room to add a lot of stuff in here. And I've also followed his uh, tutorial for these closures. Um, and I really like the way they're, uh, they're behaving. It's a lot easier to wrap the, the thread around than anything I tried before. So I encourage you to, to check, check out uh, his tutorial for that as well. So here we have two elements that pull out, each of them with room for four photos. And everything in this folio has an eight inch uh, gusset. So these fit in very well and have room for uh, the photos as well. And I, uh, for this, I used the Midnight Garden collection by Prima. We have room for a lot of photos as well. And then the last is an acetate pocket. And I think this is the first time I made an acetate pocket. Um, it's a lot easier to do than I feared it would be. And here I have a removable insert. So if we add photos, this can be uh, put aside or kept here for the uh, design. And this again has an eighth of an inch gusset. There's room for, uh, for lots of stuff in there. And that is it for the folio. So as you can see, it has a lot of room for something that's relatively small. And it also is great for the way you can use paper in this. Uh, Paul explains in his video that he wanted this to be uh, a good and economical use of uh, six by six, uh, sorry, 12 by 12 uh, sheets, because all of these are matted with um, six by four uh, papers. Now, when I saw that, I thought of my six by six paper pads. I bought a few and then I didn't know what to do with them because the six by six albums felt too small for me. So I decided to create this using a six by six paper pad. And that's what I did. The inside was not a big problem. I had to be a bit more creative with the cover. So this part, is one sheet of six by six. And then the top and bottom are fussy cut borders that have, um, I've, I've colored the edge a bit to make sure they don't stand out. And then I've added them, giving me a, a total height of over eight inches. And over here, after I, I made the cover, I realized that these flowers look great, fussy cut. So I've added them on top of these two pockets. And then I've added um, this element and I fussy cut these borders for this pocket out of the leftovers from the insert in the acetate pocket. And I think it looks, it looks really nice. I used just a few sheets, I think less than half of the pad. This was a very quick project to make. I think I finished this in, well, definitely a day, uh, but I think less than four hours, I want to say. And I really enjoyed uh, working on this. And I liked it so much that 
the, the next day I started another project inspired by this that I will share very soon. And I hope, uh, I hope you will enjoy that as well. But yeah, this, this is a, a great project and I encourage you to visit Paul's channel and uh, look at his tutorial. It's, it's wonderful. Thank you very much for watching.